Hi everyone, I'm a chemical engineer and I graduated from Eindhoven University of Technology. So when we do open days and we talk, when we talk to students, we often get the question, what is it that a chemical engineer actually does? So the word engineer, to explain that, it comes from Latin and it comes from two different words. It comes from ingeniare, which means to create or to design, and it comes from ingenium, which means cleverness. If you put these two words together, a lot of people automatically seem to think of engineering as building big structures, such as, for instance, bridges or construction. But what I do could not be any more different because I look at structures that are as small as possible, the so nanoscale, so something you can't see with a normal microscope. But what I would say is that an engineer solves complex problems. And now in the UK, the minister we have in vaccines is a chemical engineer. So the way you would use your chemical engineering knowledge is that chemists have developed the vaccine itself. But the rollout of it in a big scale, that's a triumph of chemical engineering. What are then potential careers you could think of in chemical engineering? This could be working at a chemical plant where you look at control of processes, optimizing processes, and ensure that operations run smooth. Manufacturing is also an aspect to it, but you could also think of different sectors that you might not automatically associate with chemical engineering. This could be, for instance, an environmental science, because lots of chemical engineers look at solving problems around climate change. For instance, at developing materials or methods for carbon capture. Food industry, but also in biopharma and pharmaceutical. But still the best way to figure out if chemical engineering is something for you, and this is also what I did myself, is to go to the university for a day and see what type of classes you're getting. And I could have never expected that when I started my degree, I would end up working in the bio segment of chemical engineering, which is becoming more and more important. What you learn is a very important skill set and how you solve complex problems in a very structured way. There are many engineers that work, for instance, at banks because they learn how to get the skills to do the modeling and the analytical studies that they need to do in that career. So when you become an engineer, you can apply this wide outside of your own field. So it's a very versatile career. What I also particularly like about chemical engineering is that it's very applied because you're solving particular problems. I look at how we can combat antimicrobial resistance, a very topical and a very complex problem by using polymer-based sensors to pinpoint where we can find antibiotics and particular bacteria in water and in other samples. Have a look at this recommended video and how you're interested in how chemical engineers contribute to a better society.